Brisbane's booming high-rise development is causing temperature-raising side effects. In 2013, 20% of Brisbane suburbs suffered extreme heat. In 1993, that figure was only 10%. But city planners argue we must build both up and out. Could a race to the top lift the temperature in the suburbs? The way we are planning our cities now, if we continue to do that, then there will be more suburbs that will face, face extreme urban heat island effect. QUT professors studied decades of heat patterns in the southeast. They found a link between infill development and rising temperatures. Windsor, Wilston, Paddington and Milton would be between one and one and a half degrees warmer. But sprawl development building outwards would be good news for Fortitude Valley, Spring Hill and South Brisbane. Temperatures on average dropping between two and three and a half degrees. We have a choice of growing out or growing up. In practice, it's about both of those things. We don't have large new tracts of land uh, that to, uh, to uh, be opened up, uh, so infill development is the future of our city. Despite this planning problem, researchers are proposing a solution. They want all new buildings or high-rises to include green spaces like this rooftop garden. A smart urban planning, not just willy-nilly development. To keep our city growing and stop the temperature rising. Simon Love, 7 News.